Who do you think presented the better case here, the defense or the prosecution? Oh, gee. Uh you know, they both had cases. They both presented evidence. I mean, when you look at the Commonwealth of Virginia, they have the brain injuries of Yardley Love. Her injuries were significant. Her brain stem injuries, the hemorrhaging that was in the brain, and all of that was shown to the jury, not only through photographs and autopsy photos, but through expert testimony. Of course, the Commonwealth has the burden. The defense, though, painted another picture with its experts talking about that there was not significant brain injury and that she actually died by putting her own face into the pillow at one point when George Hughley had left the room and thus she had suffocation and that caused her death. And so is that enough reasonable doubt right there at least to make this not a first degree murder case? Gene, it sounds to me, though, like it's, it's, it's kind of like saying someone in a car accident died when they hit the pavement. Well, they wouldn't hit the pavement if the car didn't hit them. It sounds to me like the, the extent of the injuries are so severe. How can you say sh that suffocation was the cause of death? Right, and thus we have a jury instruction, and I was looking for this to see if they were going to have it, and there is one that says that the, the beating to her head and to her skull and to her brain does not have to be the sole cause of her death, but if it is a contributory cause, it is, if it's one of the main causes that created a situation where she died, then it, you can call it a cause of death.